Is blackstrap molasses toxic because of advanced glycation end products? Hi, I'm Chris Masterjohn and I have a PhD in nutritional sciences. I am not a medical doctor and nothing contained in this episode may be construed as medical or nutritional advice of any kind or a substitute therefore. This episode is meant purely as scientific education. If you wish to act on any ideas presented in this episode, please consult your physician first and never take anything herein as a reason to contradict medical advice. With that said, enjoy the episode. And Gary Krieger says, hi, Dr. Master John, would like your thoughts on blackstrap molasses. Some say it's toxic because of the Maillard reaction, while others are healthy food because of its mineral content, especially iron, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. Well, I mean, this is a simple one. So the Maillard reaction forms advanced glycation end products. And hypothetically, it might be possible that eating advanced glycation end products is uh, harmful, but the research justifying that position is not good. Um, and I, a very long time ago, I did some write-ups on this. So I might want to just direct you to those. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can pull it up. I'm searching chrismasterjohnphd.com to for advanced glycation end products. Um, let me see. Did I cover it here? Uh, all right, I'm going to share my screen quickly, and I'm not going to say too much of this except to direct you uh, to it. So if you search chrismasterjohnphd.com for advanced glycation end products, you're going to get quite a number of things here. Um, and these are probably all worth reading if you really want to get into... Um, into the rabbit hole with advanced glycation end products. But um, so the trouble with measuring ages, butter and more is the receptor for ages rage really, uh, really a receptor for ages. And where do most ages come from? Oh, glycation, how thy name has deceived me are probably the best things to read about that. And none of them directly address blackstrap molasses um, but I believe you'll probably find some comments in there about the studies on eating ages. But and, and I don't remember what I said about them and then how much detail. Um, but briefly, the studies that were done on eating ages basically like fed radio labeled ages, which means that you have a radioactive tracer added to the ages so that you can then see where the tracer went. Um, and all that does is tell you that the atom that was radioactive went somewhere. And so they, they argue that the ages are um, being absorbed and affecting proteins inside the body. But they, that, but that, doesn't show that. The fact that you absorbed a radio label and you found the radio label tracer somewhere doesn't mean that the age went there unless you can show that the age wasn't broken down. And they didn't show that. Um, and then there are some studies in diabetics showing that if you have very high heated food, it causes worsening of endothelial function. But those studies don't show anything besides high tree high heat treatment of food, they don't show, and they're also in diabetics, but they they, they don't show uh, that it was the ages themselves. So, um, and then on top of that, the problem with measuring ages, butter and more goes through why da nutritional data, like published databases of 500 foods and their age content are total BS based on total BS ways of measuring ages. And so, you know, we, A, don't have good data on dietary ages for the most part, the exception of a handful of foods. Um, the studies showing high heated foods disrupt endothelial function in diabetes 
do make an argument for not consuming a lot of food that has been subjected to uh, high, you know, very high levels of heat, but they don't show anything specific about ages. And the absorption of a radial label from an age in a food doesn't show you that the ages were absorbed and then modified human proteins. So the state of uh, evidence around dietary ages is pretty bad. So I, I, uh, the short version of that is I wouldn't worry about it and I would see it as, you know, a, a sweetener that's not that sweet relative to some other ones and happens to be a good source of those minerals. All right, Gary, hope that helped. Thank you for your question. This episode was part of a Q&A for members of the CMJ Masterpass, where I hold monthly private Zoom Q&As for my members. The Masterpass also serves as a buyer's club with exclusive and massive discounts on your favorite premium foods and health products, including pasture-raised and wild meat and seafood, supplements, sleep accessories, water filters, phototherapy devices, and much more. If you'd like to participate in these Q&As, you can join the Masterpass at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash masterpass and use the code Q&A, spelled Q-A-N-D-A, Q&A, for 10% lifetime discount. I am currently working full-time on finishing my first book, Vitamins and Minerals 101, How to Get the Nutrients You Need on Any Diet. I will let you know when I have a release date. In the meantime, you can pre-order the book at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash book. Testing Nutritional Status, The Ultimate Cheat Sheet, has been newly released as version 1.3. This is my comprehensive system for managing nutritional status with lab tests, dietary analysis, and comprehensive intake of your signs and symptoms. The new version has a comprehensive guide to interpreting the Genova methylation panel. You can pick up your copy at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash cheat sheet. In my consulting, I am neither a medical practitioner nor a coach. I serve as your data analyst and your strategist. I teach you scientific principles of health and wellness, help you analyze your data, and help brainstorm actionable strategies. You can sign up for a consultation at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash consultations. Please consider supporting my work at no extra cost to you by visiting my support page and making a purchase with one of my affiliate links. Some of my most popular affiliates are also listed in the description of this video with links that will give me credit for your purchase. I will try to respond to comments when I can, but my presence will be intermittent while I'm finishing my book. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next episode.